Yo, what is going on, you tone deaf to Artera? Welcome back to the Cool List Mondays, where I take a look at a couple lists that I thought were cool from the week and kind of go a little bit more in depth on them. So the first one is going to be uh, Koichi's, I hope I'm pronouncing their name correctly, the, the Victini Rapidash deck that has been gain, gaining a ton of traction recently. And then a lot of people have been all about it. It's been the most popular deck in the last couple tournaments, actually, this Victini deck with the new addition of the Rapidash B. Um, and I posted a video a couple days ago with a take on it using Poke Gear because I really don't like Jirachis and Scoop Up Nets in my Fire VMAX decks. It doesn't feel great, uh, but I haven't really tried it out with the Jirachi. So I'm, I'm going to show off the Jirachi build to you guys here today. Like I said, I did that video with the Poke Gear build and it felt it felt fine. Um, but, you know, Jirachis could be the better way to play the deck overall. So I thought I would show you guys the Jirachi build so you guys can kind of see both takes and yeah koichi absolutely been killing it with the 60 uh won the chill tcg tournament is what i want to say and then got second place just yesterday in the um sunday open so been absolutely killing it with this list crazy uh and so many people have been picking it up and trying it out as well you know different cards here and there of course people are taking different takes on it um as far as most people been running the jirachi build um but yeah a couple different cards here and there have been switched in and out from what i've seen i've seen people with like fire crystals or um what's another card that i've seen fire crystal someone i can think of off the top of my head but i know i've seen some other stuff uh shifted around in here oh i think i saw a great catcher and then people have had tool jammers as well uh, and some people will be going with escape ropes over air balloons um but yeah people are switching it up trying some different stuff out but uh the deck overall seems super strong uh yeah victini initially when battle styles came out was was pretty it seemed pretty good and then i think as the meta developed a little bit more it was like oh Tag teams are still super popular and definitely here to stay. And uh, Victini can't handle those super well. But Rapidash and adds like a whole new level to the deck of like a consistent attacker that really opens up your options quite drastically in a way that like allows you to compete against not just the tag team decks, but also gives you another route against some of these VMAX decks. So it works similar to cr how Cramorant kind of worked in this deck before. Cramorant was a lot less efficient um, and had less like uh, follow-up options so with the rapidash you know up against like an eternity's v max if they go first and they attach to their eternity's and pass you can go like all right rapidash reduce that eternity's v's hp uh down to 100 and then they v max they come up they knock out your rapidash and you're like all right victini v max knockout and now they're left with no energy in play and nothing to do past that and you could have still done the same thing with cramorant but uh cramorant was a little bit more awkward uh because like ra the rapidash only requires two energy for that libra horn attack so you can like welder if you have those, those awkward hands where you have like welder plus one energy you can just get access to the rapidash just welder that one energy down uh and then you can find that second energy switch into it or maybe you started it and then you're just attacking from there and then you can even have those hands where it's like you can weld you have all three energy to you know welder two plus attach return um but now you can also go you know welder two to rapidash and then attach one to your bench victini v to already have that set up for next turn or pretty much set up and you don't need you don't need that uh <clears throat> you don't need that uh actually you don't need that welder next turn you don't have to welder next turn now so that like adds like so much consistency potential for your next turn as a follow-up to the rapidash whereas like with cramorant you're like all right welder two energy you have to attach return there as well then you lose all the energy so another play that you can make with rapidash if rapidash just survives which it does against most tag team decks actually you want to open rapidash against like the picaroms and the mewtwo decks uh you can run their hp low on their tag teams um and like cramorant wasn't great into the picarom you could still do that do a similar play where you'd like cramorant snipe the picarom or the right to whatever the mewtwo uh but then they would just go okay attach to bolt and bolt and knocks you out uh you have no energy in play so you can't make like a boss play to chase the chase the thing you just hit with your cram ramp but with the rapidash you can reduce that hp of the picarom or the mewtwo whatever you know bring it down to 100 and then bolton can't ko the rapidash you have a 210 hp also it keeps out a double blaze range which is like a really big deal deal in the mirror match if you go first in the mirror match try and get a rapidash in your active because the ideal play in the mirror is to turn one double blaze so all of a sudden they just can't do that so it's a huge game changer in the mirror if you can get that rapidash in your active so if you ever play the mirror match get the rapidash in your active turn one don't get double blazed if you're if you are playing the mirror probably choose to go second still uh and then go for the turn one double blaze if they open their rapid ash you can do something just like an outrage hit for 30 to try and set it up for the future turn but uh, you don't want to give them that a good double blaze target either so don't leave something in your active that can just get double blaze so maybe go with your own rapid ash and reduce something's hp low so you can clean it up later but um <clears throat> Yeah, against the tag team decks, if if the Rapidash doesn't get KO'd, which it usually doesn't, if you're up against a, a Picarom or one of the Mewtwo 
uh build going around right now the rapidash just won't get ko'd and then you can kind of just go into heatran and steam and stomp next turn on that pokemon even if they leave it on their bench you can use boss that turn because you don't have to welder you can be like you know welder turn one to rapidash maybe you attach energy on a victini okay reduce pikaram's hp down to 100 and then your opponent goes okay maybe they even get a crushing hammer heads they get one heads but then you're just like attach return air balloon to the rapidash retreat to heatran boss up the pikaram steam and stomp knockout and you're just super far ahead at that point so um rapidash is super good it gives this deck such a better cleaner answer that isn't just limited to tag teams but gives you a good solid game plan and answer to the tag team matchups um whereas before you were really struggling to come up with how to beat the tag teams with this with the victini deck and you had like the mewtwo package in here and stuff but that was so clunky uh, and the rapidash is not just good against tag teams it's also really good against the other v decks like i said up against eternatus or like a rapid strike they put down their their one eternatus v or their one rapid or urchifu v they attach their energy to it they're committed to it you're just like all right reduce that hp down to 100 and they're like well if i v max next turn and hit this rapid ash you know or turn just will get the knockout <laughs> rapid strike would just be able to even just hit the rapid ash then you can just go v max knockout as a response so uh, they have to get down like double v's to play around that from the rapid ash early on so just super strong attacker insanely it just fits so well into the deck and matches up so cleanly against so many matchups uh it's kind of insane i don't want to be calling victini v max the bdif but it even also gives a nice uh answer to that um that's what's it called the uh the adp gives you another option against adp now i do think stuff like pgram is still favored against victini overall even with this new edition of rapid ash but having like this this line of play you can take through the rapid ash to combat pgram now definitely makes the matchup a lot closer than it was it was kind of a blowout for pgram just kind of bodying <laughs> victini for the most part but now with rapid ash it makes it a lot closer i still definitely want to say pgram's favored and i could even see pgram's now with the popularity of victini going back up to that double swell to you know give yourself a better a better time against the welder deck slowed them down a little bit more marnie spam plus uh plus double swell is pretty good against uh welder decks in general not just victini v max so and i do think this deck still has you know an unfavorable matchup definitely has an unfavorable matchup against the tempo zard which i still think is a super strong deck um and definitely underplayed so you know it doesn't have you know broken matchups it isn't it's not the pdif i think uh for sure the victini deck isn't but it's definitely back uh from from the depths of uh almost uh unplayability it almost felt like it's definitely back it's definitely back it's cool to see for sure um I've been enjoying playing the deck and I'm really excited to see you know how much further it goes so the Rapidash really did save this deck here um and then also in here we have the Giratina I guess I did want to talk about the Giratina um because this is actually one of the welder decks that doesn't have as good as you might think of a Luke Metal matchup um you don't play that many energy so when Luke Metal GX attacks that's going to hit hard uh, you don't have a bunch of hard hitters once they get those coding energy into play you have the double blazer the hot burn and you have flare strike but once they get their tools in play and once they get the coding energy in play uh, you don't have a lot of ways to take knockouts so i think that the giratina is almost necessary for that matchup against luke metal i think luke metal might even be favored if you don't have the giratina so i think the giratina has to stick around i definitely see luke metal being less played overall but i would keep it around initially here uh going into this week of uh of play and tournaments and so on and we'll see how popular luke metal goes from here because victini has been insanely popular and almost everyone's been rocking the giratina because that is what koichi was playing initially so most people are just kind of following uh following the trend and they all have giratina as well which means it should be a pretty good matchup up against the uh the luke metals but without the giratina i think it's probably just going to be unfavored if the luke metals are still rocking the four coating and so on so keep the giratina around i think it's definitely uh essential right now um because luke metal has been so popular recently um but uh yeah it should be pretty good if you got the giratina in there um and then two two reset stamps in here as well i love the 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 reset stamps in here personally just because i think it adds so much depth to any deck if you can fit the reset stamps and it kind of makes sense in the deck at least a little bit uh and victini is definitely a deck that can kind of play you down to one prize card especially now with the rapid ash in the list the way you can go like rapid ash v max and then whatever you know is the best attacker to follow up with there at the end um get that reset stamp to one um and any reset stamps throughout the game can be super powerful in a lot of situations but you just don't want to leave your opponent with that big of a hand because this deck doesn't play marnie so it's not like you can be like i'm just gonna draw with my draw supporter and then also disrupt you on your on your turn because you gotta kind of have to play welder or boss most turns to be able to keep up with the victini v max deck so you don't really have time to play marnie 
uh even if you had it in the deck you don't you can't really play it in the deck because you don't have time to play it. so just even having reset stamps for those mid game like stamps to five or i guess not stamp to five won't happen too often because they have to kill charge but yeah, even stamp to five stamp to four stamp to three whatever just kind of being like you i'm not gonna let you have a perfect turn next turn you'll still probably execute you know whatever you want to execute in general but you're not gonna have a perfect turn next turn just taking away that from your opponent is sometimes enough to kind of win you the game just take away their perfect turn you know that way pico doesn't stamp you paralyze you with right you and get their swell in play you reset stamp them first and then maybe they get the paralyzed plus swell but they whiff the reset stamp because you didn't let them sit there with like an 11 card hand right so just reset stamping in those kind of scenarios is super strong uh just making sure your opponent doesn't have a perfect turn turn after turn after turn because you play zero hand disruption and it's hard to play marnie like i said in a deck like this because you're trying to use boss or welder pretty much every single turn so you almost just don't even want to include them to have the idea of that but stamp not a supporter for turn so you can easily play it as your, uh, just an item card uh because that's what it is and then you you know it fits it can fit alongside a boss or a welder just fine so yeah uh, i think that's all i have to say on this list um i think i mentioned all the the cute lines of play that i really liked uh the heat trend line is like the coolest one i think is where you you att attack with rapid ash reduce hp of a tag team and then most tag teams can't most tag team decks can't respond in ko rapid ash it's just really hard for them to um, like the Grass Mewtwo, the Psychic Mewtwo, they can't really do 210 consistently. So they might come up and hit your Rapid Ash, and you can just go into your Heatran and clean them up or something like that. So that's like a really cool line that I've come up with, or that I've that's come up. I haven't come up with it, but that has come up in my games. And also, even if they play big charms, if you put them down to 100 HP, even if they attach a big charm to be like, haha, Vic TDV Max can't KO me, Steven Stomp does do 130 damage, so can take care of that. That little bit of extra HP they're trying to gain and trying to get out of a. Uh, get out of it and go from there so yeah that's the the victini v max once again uh shout out to koichi killed it this week themselves victini's been killing it will it keep a keep up i don't think so it's going to be the i don't think it's gonna be the most popular deck like it has been in the last couple tournaments but um definitely seems very strong definitely seems very strong um the next deck i want to talk about is just tempo Zard with a rapid ash so this this list specifically comes from kevin krueger um and i didn't think about the idea but once i saw kevin's list i was like oh that's really cool uh rapid ash v kind of fits in here very well um as, as it's kind of trying to do the same thing as Kramerant in like the Victini deck but now it's Tempo Zard and also the Rapid Ash um giving yourself you know you're not being weak to lightning so this gives you a really good option against Picaram that plus 10 HP can be a big deal as well so there's like a lot of reasons it's probably just correct to play a Rapid Ash in Tempo Zard the one thing I don't like about Kevin's list specifically is the only one to Denai I've been a huge fan of double to Denai and Tempo Zard for a while now so I don't like that. So personally, I would cut down to back down to one boss and go up to a second to Dene personally. But uh, the Rapid Ash idea, I got to give him full credit for that and be like, all right, I love that. Um, I didn't think about it, but once I saw it, I was like, that just makes so much sense uh, to try and include that in Temple Zard. And it really adds adds a lot to the deck and I think might give you, I don't want to say a favorable matchup against Picaram, but maybe can bring it to 50-50 because Rapid Ash is very strong against Picaram and just kind of giving you an attacker where it's like, all right, you don't want to set up that tag team now that you have all your energy on and Bolton doesn't KO me. So they can't just be like, all right, well, I'm just going to attack with Bolton. It's like, all right, you can do that. And you just punch my Rapid Ash. And it's like, okay, now I'm just going to go into my Heatran, into my Reshi's Zard, go Kramerite Snipe, KO the Picaram maybe. Um, so huge fan of the Rapid Ash idea. There's not too much to talk about in this one. It, it, there, a lot of the si situations are very similar. Um, so there's not too much to talk about, but I just wanted to show this list as well and be like, I really like Rapid Ash in here as well. So yeah, shout out to Kevin Kruger for this list specifically. And I think that's it. It's going to do it for cool lists. I don't know what number we're on for. Um, and I haven't come up with a better name. So we're keeping it at cool lists. For, I think someone actually had a good name for it in the comments section last week. So if you have any ideas for a cooler name than cool lists for these Monday videos where I just kind of like come up with a couple lists that I like the look of and kind of talk about them, go a little bit more in depth, then um, let me know in the comment section down below because I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to do it for this week, guys. I will see you, or do it for today. This week for Cool Lists. Today for the video. See you tomorrow.